Hey kids, welcome to Brightmoor Kids. And we're starting a new series today called Ouch. It's all about some really powerful truths that Jesus taught when he preached the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus said some things that made his followers say ouch because they knew what Jesus said was so true. And when they thought about how they were living compared to how Jesus said they should be, it stung a little. It hurt them to see how far off they were from how Jesus said they should be living. Jesus made some extreme statements during his Sermon on the Mount. Speaking of extreme, I want to introduce you to an extreme sports specialist. His name is Van Dade. Now please listen up for what he has to say. Hey bros and brosettes, my name is Ban, Ban Dade, and this is my show called Ouch. Every week I spend hours hunting for the best pet fail videos out there. And this week, you're in for a real treat. Get it? Treat? Like a dog gets a treat when he... Anywho, pets are so adorable, right bro? I've got this pet mouse named Willie. He is the most extreme mouse I have ever seen. I came home yesterday and he was literally dunking from the foul line. I was like, Willie, what are you doing, you extreme mouse? And he was like, bruh, dunking. So yeah, well, let's get into our extreme pet fail video of the day. Today's video shows pets being bullies. Let's take a look. <laughs> But man, all of these pets were being a bunch of bullies. Well, that gives me an idea for this next big extreme stunt. You've heard of running of the bulls in Spain, right? That's where people run down the street with a bunch of bulls chasing after them. Well, I am gonna run with the bullies. That's right, we went to local schools and grabbed several bullies and we got them all wrangled up. We're gonna cut them loose after me while I try to stay unharmed. Let's do this. Here we are on location of my stunt. I've got the bullies ready, and on my go, they're gonna chase me down. And to make matters worse, I told them I had a whole pocket full of lunch money. On your mark, get set, go! Dress me like a little baby. Oh, Ben, what have you gotten yourself into? Hey kids, this is Grand Aid. She's my totally gnarly grandmother. Well, I was trying to do my extreme sport, running from these bullies, but they caught me. And then they dressed me up like a baby. Not very extreme, huh? Well, Ben, sometimes we do get picked on in life. But I didn't even do anything, Grand Aid. I know it can be like that sometimes. People get picked on for doing absolutely nothing wrong. The Bible calls that persecution. Even Joseph was persecuted for doing absolutely nothing wrong. I thought Papa's name was Firth. Yes, Papa's name was Firth, Firth Dade. But I'm talking about Joseph from the Bible. Why don't you come to my house and I'll finish cleaning you up and I'll tell you all about how Jesus says we are blessed when we are persecuted. Sounds good, but uh, let's get a move on. Those bullies didn't get all of my lunch money. I have a feeling they're gonna come back. Okay. Well, kids, that is all for today's show of Ouch. Man, I need some cookies and ice cream in a major way. Okay. Let's hear it for Band-Aid and his grand Today, we're going to learn all about one of the most extreme statements that Jesus 
Jesus made during the Sermon on the Mount. We're going to learn all about how to be happy when people pick on us. That is the opposite of what seems normal, isn't it? When someone hurts us, we usually get upset, and sometimes we even get mad. But that's not how Jesus wants us to live. Jesus wants us to be happy. Today we're going to find out exactly why we should be happy when people pick on us. But before we do that, let's find out what's up! What's up kids? Welcome back to Bright More Kids. I'm gonna tell you what is up. In our lesson this time, we're talking about things that can hurt us. So, that being said, our what's up is, even when I'm treated bad, I know God will bless me good. Even when I'm treated bad, I know that God will bless me good. Even when I'm treated bad, I know that God will bless me good. Okay, so I need all of the boys to stand to their feet and say this with me on the count of three. One, dos, three. Even when I'm treated bad, I know God will bless me good. Great work. Females, stand up and say this with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Even when I'm treated bad, I know God will bless me good. Now everybody stand to your feet and say it with me on the count of three. One, two, three. Even when I'm treated bad, I know God will bless me good. Even when I'm treated bad, I know that God will bless me good. Even when I'm treated bad, I know that God will bless me good. boys and girls, my name is Barry, or as the other kids at school call me Boo Boo, on account of I'm always getting hoit and getting Boo Boos. Um, today I'm in the Noises office because I got a splinter from a donut. Now I know what you're thinking, Barry, how do you get a splinter from a donut? Well, let me tell you something, never ever eat donuts next to a wood chipper. Well, anywho, I've been sitting here in the noises office for hours. Oh, don't mind me, Noise Higginbottom. I just sit here alone in my suffering. Anywho, I've been going over power voices in my head just to pass the time. You want to hear today's power voice? Okay. Today's power voice says, God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right. For the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Matthew 5.10 That is a doozy of a power voice. Now it's time for the boys to stand up. Stand up with me on the count of three. Stand out. Stand out. There we go. Okay, boys, stand up and say the power voice with me, boo-boo, on the count of three. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Three, God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Matthew 5, 10. Good job, fellas. You can sit down. You can sit down. Not too fast. Don't sit down too fast. You'll hurt yourself. Good job. Okay, now I need the girls to stand up. Not, not too fast. Girls, stand up. Stand up and say the power voice with me on the count of three. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Matthew 5, 10. Good job, good job, you can sit down. You know, boys and girls, it's power voices like this that help me get through the day. You know, with a name like Boo Boo, it's pretty easy to get made fun of. I feel like people are always persecuting me for my name, for my clothes, for how I'm always hurting myself. And also, some people make fun of me for being a Christian. But you know what? It's okay. Because this A's power voice says that if you're persecuted, God will be with you. That's right. Jesus was persecuted too. And he loves you, and he's never going to leave you. And everything's going to be okay, no matter what's going on. 
Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? Well, now I need everybody to stand up and say the power voice with me, Boo Boo, on the count of three. Okay? Here we go. One, two, three. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Matthew 5, 10. Good job, boys and girls. Good job. You can have a seat. Good job. What? Was that noise taken bottom? It's my toy. Oh, finally. Oh, I'll see you later, boys and girls. My name's Boo Boo. You stay safe out there. I'm coming, Noise Taken Bottom. Oh, I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. Today's Bible story comes from the book of Genesis. This story is about a man named Joseph. Joseph was a slave in the house of Potiphar, an Egyptian official. After a while, Potiphar began to notice that Joseph was a hard worker and made Joseph the head servant of his household. This was great! However, Potiphar's wife also started to notice Joseph. She wanted him to be her boyfriend and even though she was already married. Joseph knew that that was the wrong thing to do, so he didn't give in. One day, when Potiphar's wife cornered Joseph, he tried to get away fast. Potiphar's wife refused to let go of Joseph's shirt, so he squirmed until his shirt ripped and was able to run free. Potiphar's wife kept the piece of his shirt and began to scream for help. When the other servants came in, she said, Joseph tried to attack me. He believed that. She lied about Joseph. Joseph wasn't trying to attack her. He was trying to get away. Potiphar came home and heard the lie his wife had told about Joseph, and Potiphar had Joseph thrown into prison. However, Joseph immediately began to show that he was no ordinary prisoner. He impressed the chief jailer so much that he put Joseph in charge of the whole prison. That's pretty impressive. While in jail, Joseph served the other prisoners in many ways. One of the ways was that he would interpret their dreams and tell them what they meant. This was something that God gifted Joseph. One night, Pharaoh had a dream and he couldn't figure out what it meant, so he asked all of his advisors if they could help. One of them remembered Joseph had the ability to interpret dreams, so Pharaoh sent for Joseph to be brought from prison to interpret the dream. Joseph heard the dream and told Pharaoh what it meant. Pharaoh was so amazed, he decided to put Joseph as second in command in Egypt. Isn't that amazing? Joseph didn't let the fact that he was mistreated keep him from doing right. And because of that, God blessed him in a big way. Today in your lesson, you will learn how to handle it when you are mistreated and how God will bless your faithfulness. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joseph. This is Joseph, hey. who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. He was his father's favorite, so his brothers hated him oh. and sold him into slavery. Yeep. You see, Joseph was taken to Egypt, Ooh. and Potiphar, one of the Pharaoh's officials, bought him for his household. God was with Joseph, and he did well in Potiphar's house. Oh! Potiphar saw that God made everything Joseph did a success. Aha! So he put Joseph in charge of his whole house. Yeah! And God blessed Potiphar's house because of this. Potiphar's wife saw how well Joseph was doing in the house, and she wanted to make him do bad things. Joseph ran away from her because he wanted nothing to do with someone who would try to make him do the wrong thing. This made Potiphar's wife angry, and she wanted to be rid of Joseph. Huh? So she lied and made Potiphar believe that Joseph had done the bad things that she wanted him to do. 
Potiphar burned with anger against Joseph and sent him to prison. While Joseph was in prison, again, he did well and the warden soon made him responsible for all that was done there. God was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. When two full years had passed, Pharaoh was having unsettling dreams. Pharaoh did not understand his dreams, so he sent for Joseph. Pharaoh asked Joseph to tell him the meaning of his dreams. With God's help, Joseph told Pharaoh that the dreams told of what could come in the future, and he explained all the dreams to the Pharaoh. Pharaoh believed that what Joseph was saying was true. He trusted Joseph as a wise man, and he put him in charge of the land of Egypt, of Pharaoh's palace, and of all his people. Have you ever ripped off a Band-Aid? Ouch! That hurts! It pulls your hair, your skin. That's how it feels when we hear some of the things Jesus said when he preached the Sermon on the Mount. Jesus said some things that were kind of like ripping off a Band-Aid. What Jesus said was so truthful and exposed what we're covering up so we don't have to think about it or deal with it. And now all we can see is what Jesus has uncovered, a truth that needs some serious attention and quick. Today we're learning from one of those things that Jesus said that makes us say, ouch. Jesus said, be happy when people pick on you. What? That doesn't make any sense. But the reason Jesus said that and the reason that it makes us say, ouch, is because it's really true. And many times as Christians, that's not what we do. Many times when someone picks on us and we are mistreated, we get upset and sad, and sometimes even angry. But that's not how Jesus said you should act. Jesus said, when people pick on you, you should be happy. Let me explain. You can be happy because... When I'm mistreated for doing right, I am just like Jesus. Jesus was mistreated a lot. Remember, Jesus was beat up, spit on, and ultimately died on the cross, all for saying he was the Son of God. Just because he was doing the right thing, he was mistreated his whole life. That's true for us too. Jesus said, in this world, you will have trouble. You will have trouble. You will be mistreated sometimes. Sometimes people will pick on you, and that's just a part of life. However, it is still hard to deal with. When people pick on you, it hurts. When someone bullies you or says mean things to you or about you, it hurts. It can make you sad. It can even make you feel all alone, like no one else knows how you feel. But that's not true. The truth is... Jesus knows how it feels. He knows exactly how it feels to be mistreated. The Bible says that Jesus came to the earth and lived a human life. He experienced everything we do. Hurt, pain, sadness, joy, good times, and bad times. Jesus felt it all. Jesus knows how you feel because Jesus felt that way before. He especially knows how it feels when you are mistreated because he was mistreated a lot. However, Jesus never gave up or gave in to the temptation to get back at those who bullied him or beat him up with their words or with their hands. Jesus was faithful because he knew that God would do something amazing like bring salvation to the whole world. That's a pretty awesome blessing. And now because of that, we have a pretty awesome blessing that is waiting for us if we stay faithful in times when we are mistreated. God will bless me if I am faithful. If you stay faithful and don't get into the temptation to get revenge or stay angry at those who hurt you or mistreat you, God will bless you. Do you remember our power verse? It says, God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right. For the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Matthew 5, 10. If you stay faithful when you are persecuted or disrespected, 
If you keep doing right, no matter what others may say or do to you, God will bless you with eternal life. Isn't that great? When you are faithful to God, you get to spend eternity with him and Jesus in heaven. God blesses those who are persecuted for doing right, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Matthew 5, 10. Hey kids, welcome to our review today. We are having girls versus boys, and we are about to have some fun. So please join in with us, and let's start with our quiz. First question, what's up? Even when I'm treated bad, I know God will bless me good. Correct. Who was our Bible story about? Joseph. Correct. Okay, ladies, we got you this. can do this. Who tried to tempt Joseph to sin? Potiphar's wife. Correct. True or false? Joseph stayed in prison for the rest of his life. False. Correct. Whose dream did Joseph interpret when he got out of prison? Pharaoh? Correct. True or false? Because he was faithful, Joseph became second in command in Egypt. True. <laughs> True. <laughs> correct. Yes. So how many of you got it correct so far? Because we're going to continue with our next question. Here it is. According to our lesson today, when I am blank for doing right, I am just like Jesus. Mistreated? Correct. Hopefully you guys got that too. According to our lesson today, Jesus knows how I blank feel. Correct. How I feel. According to our lesson today, God will bless me if I am blank. Faithful. Absolutely. And one more. You ready for it? Where was our power verse found? Matthew 5.10. <laughs> Correct! Thanks guys for coming and joining us for our review. Go, everybody in the lowest voice that you can possibly create from the bowels of your stomach. Repeat this after me. Even when I'm treated bad. Even when I'm treated bad. I know God will treat me good. Treat me good. Yes, I bet that was very deep. And that's what's up. Today, starting our series on Ouch, we are learning about the Sermon on the Mount that Jesus taught. There were some extreme things that he taught, and sometimes they seem like they don't even make sense. But as we go through these lessons, I hope that you would realize that what Jesus has to say to us is how we really should live. So I hope you have a great week and I hope you have a blessed day and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.